Hey everybody, Brick Bearings back and we are looking at this preview today of the NASA Apollo Saturn V a rocket set that's coming out on June 1st. It will have a 1,969 pieces, which is nice now the year 1969, which is this is the rocket. For those that don't know, that got us to the moon. And this is um, a set that I'm excited about and I'm definitely going to be paying retail when it comes out. I might not get it June 1st, I might have to wait till July, but um, we'll see how the summer goes. Now, for those that don't know much about the significance of, of the Saturn V, um, let me give you some background knowledge just real quick. This was the rocket that helped to propel us uh, from Earth's orbit, because prior to this, the Saturn I rocket was good enough and powerful enough to get John Glenn um, to orbit the Earth, but to get past Earth's orbit, a more powerful rocket was needed, and that was the Saturn V. With the Saturn V, we couldn't have had the manned mission to the moon. So a lot of you I know who are younger, you know, you might see this in the history books and say, well, gee, that's not, you know, and not really understand the the whole the historical and cultural significance of why this was so important. Um, this moon landing really represented um, the 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 uh, the zenith, I guess, the the epoch of of human achievement, of what human beings can do when they put their mind to something and what's possible. Um, there were so many setbacks in this program uh, from, from the 1950s onward that could have easily derailed this, but it takes really intelligent, determined, and stoic individuals to put this thing to happen. I mean, of course, you know, um, we have uh, Neil Armstrong, of course, who got the um, all the publicity and, and Buzz Aldrin and those guys, but you know it took thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people dedicated to this for for well over a decade. In addition, it took our federal government to have some long range thinking and say, you know what, let's plan something out. We want to have it. Might take us ten years plus years to get there. But we're going to get there and let's allocate the funds that we need to make this great project. Now, obviously, you know, going to the moon itself, um, there's not much on the moon for us to get too excited about, but it represented that achievement. So what you have in this Lego set, I think perfectly encapsulates that. And I hope that people who buy this set, uh, mainly for their kids, that it captures that imagination and spark and drive and curiosity that maybe the next generation will come and kind of finish what the uh, baby boomer generation in the 1960s kind of started. So here you see right now you're seeing the, the, the capsule that actually lands on the moon and you have uh, three mini, uh, what are they called, like micro uh, nanos, I guess, nano figs are called. And they look like they're printed, I'm not sure. Um, I like that piece back there with the, with the uh, United States flag to put on the moon. But all the main components are represented. Uh, you also have the, um, the capsule that comes back to Earth and of course lands in the ocean. And that's kind of what those orange, um, those linking uh, pieces are representing there. So this is, um, wow, what can I say? Now you get all three astronauts obviously, although it's important to note that not all three land on the moon because one of them had to be up in the limb so that they could take the capsule, go back up, connect with it, and get themselves back into Earth's orbit and eventually get back to Earth. So here in the next picture, you're seeing how this actually opens up to show the extraction of the lem, which was um, um, critical to actually get to the moon. It wasn't as simple as just flying, for you younger kids out there, it wasn't as simple as just simply getting in a rocket and flying to the moon. Um, it was actually a multi-step process because as the rocket uh, broke Earth's orbit, uh, it broke off in stages and of course, um, inside one of the, uh, the, the rockets was the, the lem and the capsule, which had to be extracted. And that's kind of what you're seeing here. So Lego did a great job in representing that as accurately as possible. Now it is uh, to scale as far as the nano figs because this rocket um, stood, I believe it was um, 60 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty, which is a uh, pretty big. It's a pretty grand site um, down at Cape Canaveral. You know, when you're seeing all this stuff going off uh, back in the, the old footage, I certainly encourage you guys to check that out. So my, kind of my final thoughts in this set is, Absolutely, at $119 retail, I'm definitely picking it up. Again, it might not be until July, depending on you know what I got going on this summer. But um, and this is one set. I will my final note here in closing. I think I'm keeping the box for this set because normally I don't keep boxes for Lego sets, the ones that I build for my personal collection and enjoyment. But I think this one's special, and I think I'm going to keep the box for this one. Um, just my final thoughts. 
And guys, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this set. Please pick it up. I, I, I would highly encourage you to do so. And as, I, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.